I've had my Corp Kronos, the original version, for almost four years now, and suddenly all the notes started to detune themselves and either go very flat or start rising in pitch unexpectedly. And it could happen at the end of an all-day perfect session or it could happen right after booting up. You heard the detune effect while I was introducing the video. Here's how an arpeggio sounds like and listen to how the end suddenly detunes itself. So I contacted the Korg uh, 800 product support number, also contacted my local authorized Korg repair center, and finally I also put a post up on Korg forums, which has a lot of helpful members on it. Long story short, the problem was narrowed down to the joystick pitch bend controller. Here's how I started the project. First, I got some uh, soft materials like a, a gym mat and some packing foam materials to protect the keyboard when I set it on a table upside down. There are two kinds of screws holding the bottom plate, so I marked the holes for the larger screws so I'd know where they go at the end of the reassembly. I didn't want any pressure on the joystick bottom when I open it up, so I shored up a little extra leverage on the sides with other material. Here's a nice shot of the side view, seeing the spacers and the protection of the keybed, and a nice beauty shot of the entire keyboard. That silver center rib is the weighted hammer mechanism that gives the keyboard that true weighted action and feel. All the way in the right end corner of the photo, you can see the joystick assembly. There are four mounting screws and two wiring harnesses that will have to be removed. Don't remove them yet, we'll get to that very soon. Here's how the part looks when you receive it. This is the top view looking at the joystick itself. And these are the two contact points where the two wiring harnesses will be attached. Use a snipper to cut the zip tie. Don't use a knife because it's too easy to accidentally cut the wires. Use an offset needle nose pliers to pull out the wiring harness by the plastic harness, not by the wires. Unscrew all four screws, but leave them in the joystick chassis harness so that they don't fall into the keyboard electronics. Carefully hold on to the joystick chassis so that the screws don't fall out and pull out the second wiring harness that's on the side of the joystick. Keeping the joystick assembly level so the screws don't fall out, take the entire assembly out of the keyboard. Get the new replacement joystick assembly and reattach the side wiring harness to the contact on the joystick. Then attach the top wiring harness to the top contact on the joystick. This is the joystick assembly bed inside the keyboard to which you fasten the new joystick with the four screws. Put a new zip tie through the special hole, tighten it, and then cut off any excess with a snipping tool. And the joystick replacement is done. The cooling fan needed cleaning and also the heatsink for the Intel Atom motherboard. I vacuumed with a soft brush just the cooling fan and the heatsink, not the motherboard. I replaced the screws according to my coded stickers, tested the keys so that they were moving properly and spaced right, tightened all the screws and removed the cardboard spacers. <laughs> 